So one of the things that I've been really interested in uh, talking about has been how social isolation especially impacts LGBTQ people of color, having to deal with the twin phobias of racism within the mainstream LGBTQ community, but also facing homophobia within some of their own uh, BME communities that they're coming from. Also, a lot more, uh, a lot more of BME LGBT people are in precarious um, work. Uh, a lot of them, uh, you know, do not necessarily have the support structures that the wider LGBTQ community might might have. Um, so all, all in all, the situation does get exacerbated. So one of the big things is that, you know, in a place like London, um, where people are basically, you know, renting out rooms from other people, um, it has been difficult for them having to go back to their family homes that they've left behind, maybe homes that they'd left behind because of homophobia, because of other kinds of um, uh, social ostracization that they face. So, so for them, London and coming out, coming to the city was almost a way of leaving those, um, uh, those kind of structural violence behind. From the many people that I've been speaking to and from research that's already out there, we know the kind of mental health stress that it brings. I'll just read out a quote, which kind of, I think, really hits the nail. Um, and, and she says, I'm, I'm lucky to have faith groups in my area who have been coming around and buying essentials for me. But I'm always worried, though, how it would be if they found out about my sexuality. And at the moment, she is under self-isolation. She is getting a lot of support. One of the things that she's very worried about is what happens if her sexuality is uh, made public, you know, to some of the groups that's, that, that's helping her. Um, of course, we don't know whether the, the, whether the reaction to that is going to be homophobia or not. Probably not. We don't know that. But I think the fact that the fear that a lot of LGBT people are facing, um, being inside social isolation, being in spaces which could be unsafe for them, kind of tells you the, the, the challenge that they are facing. So for people who are stuck in these really hostile situations, both in India as well as over here, I think it's really important um, that you either get in touch with charities uh, that you are already aware of, but also I would say to other people who might be in better situations, who might be, um, you know, kind of riding through this, I would say it would be really great for you to find out, you know, how you can lend them a helping hand. Again, you know, very similar. It could just be a befriending service where just you call up and check up on people, you know, are they all right? Um, you know, it, it could just be being much more kinder when we're talking to people online and so on.